Hey guys, bringing you results of our latest war with Mangalore clan. I'm going to start this video with some comments about this war and about the clan we faced. So here you see the stats from our last war with Mangalore clan. You see we came up one star short, used all but one of our attacks. You guys did really well, had a good solid war. Looking at some of the bases, their top guy was Town Hall 11, uh, pretty much fully maxed. Actually, I think completely fully maxed uh, compared to Samson, who's getting there. He's no, he's not maxed Town Hall 11, but he's getting there. Then they had a uh, number two was a mid-level Town Hall, or probably, I guess, entry-level Town Hall 10. This would have been matched with Ethan, who is a very entry-level Town Hall 10. Then we go down through a couple of Town Hall 9s that were matched with our Town Hall 9s. Except by the time you get to their number 7, number 7 was our bottom Town Hall 9. That's Spoon. Doesn't have Expos yet. And their number 7 is a Town Hall 10. Another engineered base, which you see has bowlers and miners and level 5 dragons, so not a fair matchup. And then their number 8 was paired to our top Town Hall 8 except their number eight was a Town Hall 10 again with decent defenses and level five dragons, bowlers, miners, level three hounds. Again, nothing fair about pairing up with these engineered clans. We didn't have any engineered, actually we don't have any engineered bases in our entire clan. We certainly didn't have any in this war. But the other thing that was even more disturbing was the fact that they had a bunch of great three stars right out of the box and they weren't that good to be quite honest. So if we go and look at their clan, if I can figure out how to do that, I just bookmarked them so we'll go and look at bookmarks. We had a fellow who joined us on the day, uh, on uh, planning day during this war. A guy named PK. This guy right here, who's a member of their clan. Now, he didn't have a war timer, and he got accepted in the clan. He's at Rush Town Hall 10, but, you know, the kind of person we would uh, be happy to help, you know, do a little catch up in, in his base. He stayed with us for exactly one day through most of war day, never asked for troops, never donated, never spoke, and then left. And this is why he didn't, because he was solely in our clan. He was sent to scout our bases. I'm sure he screenshotted all of our war bases and sent them to them, which would be one good reason that they were able to do so well in getting three stars coming out of the box. So, very annoying, because that's, that's not within... I get that engineered bases can be part of the game, but going, sending somebody to scout the other clan, that's just cheating. Okay, so this is going to be a longer video than normal. I'm going to roll right through all of our attacks. This is Samson on their number one, Max Town Hall 11. Drops a jump spell with giants to tank, bowlers and witches behind, some go around the east, some go around the west. The bulk of them go right in the core, take out the first Tesla, the town hall. He just misses getting this second Tesla or he'd gotten much farther. He did get a higher percentage two star than their number one got on him. So had it been a tie on war stars, we would have won this war. And there you see a very solid two star on a max town hall 11. Samson also three-starred their Town Hall 10 with another mass bowler witch attack, this time coming in from the east. Again, using giants to tank. He takes out the clan castle just in the middle of that melee because he's got enough witches and his archer queen in there to deal with clan castle troops with no problem. You saw a jump spell, a heal spell, a rage spell, all getting through the core. Because if you can leave just a few defenses around the outside, you're going to have plenty of troops to take them out. Lots of witches, lots of skeletons, lots of bowlers. Easy peasy, three star on a Town Hall 10. 
Ethan took out the next two bases, the top two Town Hall 9s, again with mass bowler witch attacks. Ethan is our newest Town Hall 10. He's got his bowlers now, so he is rolling them right through anything that's a Town Hall 9, even if it's maxed. Comes in from the south. Again, uses just his regular attacking forces to take out the clan castle troops. Doesn't worry about luring them because he's got plenty of damage dealers in the midst. They go through the core. Now he had a bunch of bowlers go around the west side of this base. That might not be ideal, but it works really well because this attack went very smoothly for him. He's still got plenty of troops up here and only a couple of defenses that can shoot back. And they are going to be out of the picture pretty quickly as soon as this Tesla goes down. All that will be left is builder huts. And so now we're going to see the little mad dash to take out the builder huts. And there's your three star. And here's Ethan's second mass bowler witch attack. This time coming in from the south. Real widespread on his giants there to set a nice wide funnel. Also helps to take out any traps or bombs that are on the outside of the base. Notice how that funnel worked just perfectly, it seems like. Now some of the bowlers will still go outside and some of the witches, it's hard to figure out why exactly when there's nothing outside anywhere near them. But look at what's going on in the core here. Jump, haste, rage, heal, slow it down a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on. The bowlers kind of stand around a little bit winding up for their next throw, but that bounce is just great. It's fun to watch the bounce when you watch at regular speed. I'll speed it back up so we get through this video. Now on this one he runs out of steam a little bit. This is actually a little closer than on the higher base that he attacked, number three. So he's coming around this corner strong. But his queen's low on health. And she's gonna go down to this cannon as I recall. So there's a witch and a bunch of skeletons, but no problem finishing the base off. That witch is the hero, heroine of the raid. So we'll get away from bowlers and witches. This is Muzza bringing a queen walk, Val charge. Starts his queen walk up here from the northwest. She is setting one side of a funnel basically because he's going to bring his Valk charge in from the north. Notice the hog right there to make sure he gets the clan castle. He wants to make sure his queen takes out those clan castle troops and that they're not out there breathing fire on his Valks when they come in. He's got a solo golem, gets his wall breakers down in between the mortar shells. His Valks all go right in. Wizards sit in the other side of the funnel along with a king. You know I love to see a king followed by a bunch of wizards. That always works great. So the queen is going to go counterclockwise, the king is going to go clockwise, and the Valks are going to go through the center of the base, and they're all going to meet up down here on this southern corner for a very fast, very smooth, very crushing three-star. And here's Extreme, a Town Hall 9, bringing a Lava Lunion on one of their engineered Town Hall 10s. Easy lure, because the clan castle's sitting outside the base, which is crazy. Uses his king to anchor the dragon and baby dragon so his queen can take him out. Dropped a haste on there, I think hoping his king would be kind of running from the dragon, but his king wasn't quite fast enough. Loons come in from the northwest and just sweep through this base. Extreme is as good as anybody I've ever seen with the, seen with the placement of his haste and rage spells. Blows through all the air defenses very quickly. At this point, as soon as that queen goes down, right about there, nothing but cleanup. So we'll speed it up and watch the balloons bomb poor defenseless buildings. Something I love to watch. Here's Christina in a Town Hall 8, bringing a mass drag attack on a Town Hall 8. This is one way to use your spells. You zap quake one of the air defenses, come in from the opposite side with your line of dragons. Shortly after you drop your dragons, you drop your clan castle loons so the dragons are tanking for them. You use haste and rage spells to take care of the clan castle troops and get through at least one of the air defenses. At this point, all three of the air defenses are down. Still got loons up. 
The majority of the dragons are still up. The only thing at this point that's any danger to them at all is one archer tower. I guess that Tesla, but it's not going to do much. If there was a pack of six, five or six archer towers, I might be worried about this raid a little bit, but this is going to go very smoothly. And Christina is going to end up with the bulk of the dragons left over at the end of the raid. And here's another mass dragon attack, this one by Valicia. Different way to use spells. In this case, all rage spells. Notice two dragons on each corner of the base to set the funnel, and then the bulk of the dragons and the balloons go right up the middle. A rage spell basically on each of the air defenses set on the dragon side of the air defense so the dragons are raging into the air defense. You don't want to center those rage spells on the air defense. You want them closer to your dragons to move your dragons quickly in. Three air defenses, three rage spells. And again, the majority of the dragons wondering what to do next. And this was the base that I guess I could say cost us the war because we couldn't get the three star, although what really cost us the war probably was being up against an engineered clan who sent somebody to spy and screenshot all of our war bases, but that's another matter. So here's Beast giving a great try with a go wipe, which has a great shot on a base like this. Gets all these inside walls opened up with four earthquake spells. The bulk of the troops, Pekkas, heroes, wizards, go into the core of the base. Has trouble getting to that second expo. Notice there's the expo right behind two Teslas that cost a lot of troops in the core and there just isn't enough left to do the cleanup. So this is going to fall short at a two star and then we'll look at an air two star or one star I forget on this base too. Here's Extreme trying that same base by air bringing a lava lunion. His big problem here is he can't lure the clan castle and he really needs to. So he spends a lot of balloons to get the lure, and that's gonna cost the raid because it's just too many balloons. That clan castle was too deep. He finally gets the lure, uses his heroes and some minions to kill the clan castle troops. Then he brings his balloons in from the northeast along with his hounds. He quickly gets through two of the air defenses and one of the expos. But again, that last air defense right next to two infernos and the remaining expo is going to be his downfall. That core was very high in DPS. And this is one we just had bad luck. Great tries, great planning. It was just this one base that didn't go well for us.